now I, it's more the, like a, 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 I want to achieve something, I go about it. If I don't achieve it, it's not the end of the world. You know, like, I'll try again, you know, because I think experience brings you that confidence that you can walk away, regroup and come back at it again. Where when you're young, you think, you don't know how you got here in the first place. You don't know why it's you. And now I'm older, you just accept that, that uh, you're pretty good at what you do and, and you've got your processes down and I'm not so outcome driven anymore where I'm, I'm more process driven, which, uh, which, which I enjoy. And yeah, the fire's, it's a different fire now. It's still just as warm. It's just not burning as bright. The ambers are still just as warm, but uh, I, um, I'm enjoying where I am at the moment. Do you have tips for your fans how to keep on track and how to keep motivated when it comes to the point to achieve something like the dreams or the goal? I think that, yeah, it comes about, I, I see, I can only look at it from my perspective and see how it came about through different ages. I think for the young ones, you have to be so prepared to sacrifice a lot, selfish, um, yes, yeah, self-absorbed to some degree and, and You're gonna cop a lot of flack, a lot of, uh, a lot of, a lot of non-believers, you know? A, a lot of people who, to, people are exceptional at telling you what you can't do, not, not good at telling what you can. And, and, and young people are so easily distracted and, and taken down wrong paths that we lose a lot of the talent. So for young ones, believe, man. And, and for the older ones who have found their way, and older people who are more comfortable in their life, they're not so easily swayed. Just enjoy and, and, and believe and, and uh, be consistent. And um, yeah, you've got to be a little self-absorbed, but be consistent and driven and enjoy it because triathletes do have a tendency to, uh, to get so engulfed in all these little things that are irrelevant, power meters and power numbers, and, and that they forget to work out the processes that led to the outcome. And, and that's why you see, uh, I see it a lot with uh, high-end pros now that are That lose their way a little bit they don't work out they never understood how they got there in the first place you need to work backwards a lot more so some advice for for athletes is when you get a result or when you work out you, you know you just so you set a goal and you achieve it work backwards and, and and discover what those processes were that you put in place that enable you to get that goal understand that journey before you start the next one and once you get a better understanding of that to replicate is so much easier Now you have one countless titles. Which one do you value the most and why? Um, 2010 Ironman Hawaii. You know, because after 2007 when I won it, I said I would never go back again and, and uh, I was happy and uh, I'd won everything I'd ever wanted to win. And, and then, yeah, I sort of cruised around and then watched my title get taken by someone else and I watched the, the sport turned their back on me to some degree. I was old and, and, and uh, you know, it just, I realized the fickleness of, uh, of people. You know, you can have a 15-year dominating career where you destroy for years and years and years and it's forgotten like that in, in 18 months. And I was just, ang anger's the wrong word, but I was, yeah, peed off at the, peed off at the sport that they treated me that way. Peed off at the fans that I was so, uninformed. I'm like, man, you know, and, and that you can crown a new champion who, not crown, well, he was a new champion, but you can just put these labels on people that had really achieved a tenth of what I'd achieved. But they were the new greatest, the new kings, the new, and whenever I said something now, it was considered terrible or just I was, so by going back in 2010 and, and, and stating my intentions a year out, what I was going to do to the new champions and how I intended to win that race and watch while the sport mocked me and everyone said I was an idiot and a goose and I should go and hide under a rock and I should retire and leave it to the new age and then to decimate the field the way I did and beat the new wave, take my title back, it was a big up yours to to all the critics and a big suck, I told you so and never forget. And ever since then, I think that was the, the defining race in my career where people were like, my God, this guy is, uh, this guy is exceptional. And uh, that was a sweet, sweet victory for me. I think this definitely changed your life within the sport. It, it changed people's perception of me 100%. I think, um, 
you know, because I, I, I had the opportunity to, to say what I just said then to the camera, mm -hmm. is to say that, hey guys, are you, are you serious? Look what I've done in my career. What, what, I compared, you know, these new guys there, and they're like, ah, McCormack, shut up, go under, you know, like, and I had the opportunity to tell people what I'd done. I had the opportunity, and, and I stood solo. I had a whole sport, and myself, my family, and a few little people who backed me, saying, and, and we stood solo against the sport to some degree. I felt that pressure. I was so pumped to, I said it in the coverage, I said it in everything. I am going to do this, and you're all going to watch, sit back and watch, and you're all going to ask yourself questions. And I'm going to prove to you all that you're uninformed imbeciles. Even the ones who run the magazines that call themselves the experts, the ones that gave me a 25 to 1 chance of winning the race. I'm like, 25 to 1? Like, are you? Like, wow. Well, I was shocked, and, and that was the, the sweetest, sweetest day for me. It was just like, up yours, and, and it, all the way through it, after, after the race, how I closed everybody out. It was like, nah, get lost, you groupie. You know, the only the people in this circle are the ones who believe, because it just really showed me a side of the sport that I was, I was disappointed, but I guess it shows, it's sport to some degree, but I, I felt like I'd... Uh, I, I felt like it was unfair that some of the things I was reading about me, I was like, wow, you know, I had, wow, interesting. It wasn't as if I dropped off the earth the year before I finished fourth, you know, and I was like, it was crazy. I had won European Ironman Championships, I won all these races, but so that was, that was my sweetest victory, you know, of all the world championships, that one, because I'm not so old, you know, and, and uh, I'm still the same guy. And, and now I just won another one, another world title. <laughs> so, you know, it's, uh, it's been sweet.